So let's bring this drawing that we have done. Get a copy, take it right here. We will move it to place. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me use some guidelines. So this is where I started from. I should start from and this should be 300. So this is kind of the, the limit that I need to use. So let me try to have this and group it so it's easy to select. So let's consider something like this. Anyway, we can tweak it later. So let's grab this and um, the best reference to use is the center. I find that it is the center because uh, right now we don't have any profile from around there. So I will need it at the center. So now I'll change the railing to the center. And if I do that, you can see that it becomes off center, which means I need to move it to this point right here. Yeah, and right now it becomes disassociated because it will anyway if you begin to draw the volutes there. Nothing to do, we just have to work on it manually. So we will lose a few things, but let's continue to draw. So this is the first quadrant. And then we make, we use this editing in order to add another quadrant right there. And another one right there, another one here. And we get things here which are a bit messy but let's concentrate on the curves let's take it outward so we have this first shape that doesn't look good we need to get it right let's take this back to where it's supposed to be great and create the, the first curve Great, create the second curve. So we have too many posts because every node, there is a post that is formed by default, but we can come in and clean it. So let's get this shape right. So you can see that we have a lot of mess here. So we can go in and edit to remove some things that we don't need. Uh, let's choose like, this one, this one, and delete them. Select this one, delete it. Let's go in 3D and see what we have. We have an issue here, which came out because of interlocking things, but, um, so I will delete it and we do again. When it gets messed up, it really does get messed up so bad, pretty bad. So once you place in the stair, just make sure to, to fix that or else you have issues. So go in there and just keep it zero. Make sure that you have put a zero such that um, it will end at that point. And now let's go in and do what we just did. Make sure that the center is at here in the middle. Move it such that we place it to where we want to start. We grab this point and put it right there. Of course, we, we, have lost the, we have lost the fact that it is associative. So now let's draw as usual. I'll speed through that and go ahead and smooth out the quadrants. And then we can edit to delete the posts that don't make sense. created the straight volute for us and uh, that's pretty good of course because it was disassociated we have some issues here but um, we are not interested in this other part so you can manually delete them also the ones which makes no sense at all like um, 
this one here which shouldn't be there and also adjust the distance such that we do not show some of those things you know what you have to do what you have to do we need to concentrate on this other side and that's how you do the flat volute so we can put the nose the bull nose on the starter trade so go in there and edit it so let's let's move it to about as long as it covers that's about 250 and uh, that looks good let's round this out about 150 or 100 yes that looks good even this other side pretty good we will exit and of course if you go to 3d it's just the top trade that is um, changed and you realize that this one doesn't change so if we try to edit this this one won't be edited like this because this allows us to to move it but this doesn't allow us but uh, we can consolidate that with a simple slab so using the simple slab which we already have here we can uh, draw out a simple slab in the same sort of shape also round it up and because we used an offset of uh, of about 15 such that this one is a nosing 15 millimeters is a nosing you also insert it so in 3d let's bring it up uh, you can kind of see the shape right there you can drag it up to there and also if you so wish you can keep the distance which was there about five and there you do have it pretty cool and because it's not associated it's easy to mirror to this other side so you have a complete set of the volute stair and in edit mode you can uh, decide to delete these two and create just one if you want it to be like uh, exactly like this one because this one uses a bigger newell post so you can definitely choose one of those and make it bigger so if we wanted to edit further we could actually go in edit mode we can select our inner posts you can see that they are a bit uh, off of the grid take them down a bit maybe negative like a 50 yeah and it looks quite better and because we have done that we can decide to also increase how high they are when you go to the style and dimension here we can increase from 150 maybe to 2 to 200 or even 250 so you 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 can definitely do that and when you do that you can follow it also with these ones becoming a little higher our balusters could also use a bit of height here to 200 i guess yeah i think i'm pretty happy with this if i do exit so you definitely can play with the heights until you get what is satisfactory for you so finally i will do make a copy of this to create the ascending volute let's make a copy here great so we have the same thing here and for this one we will, we will need this section let's go in section in here we do need that height difference so we have to take uh, the flat volute down let's use maybe by a hundred and i see if it does work you need to try out and see which distance does work so take down all these points 
so it's hard for us to select the one which is undone here let's first move that because we need this to stay here and this one down here because remember you want to keep this uh straight so we will bring this back here right and see what we have here of course we need to to mark you this one here let's go and see and I am really impressed by how much it is and uh, the, the problem that we do have here is that you cannot edit this thing in section in terms of uh, the angle if we if I selected this this one here and uh, decided to edit it you can see that it's only editable in this plane not so much in the Y plane which is not good and this was the same issue that we had for the for for the beam tool the beam tool would edit in the sort of x and y axis but not in the z axis so i just i just wish that we this is uh, worked on such that um we are able to edit uh this plane in a z axis such that we can be able to smooth out sections like that and that they only can be smoothed out if and only if you could select this thing here and create your own sort of you know curvature but now you have to guess looking at uh, how smooth it is maybe that would be smoother you would try and see that looks a bit better but um, the better thing would be having uh, a plane an editing plane that is editable in that kind of section but uh, overall this is kind of nice it's good to see that you can actually do this so for this option let me delete this and replace it with the, this one here and uh, I think this this really is nice means that there is great potential to come in order to do some even more complex things so thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye